Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out RGB controller, which allows you to change the underglow and the headlights of your vehicle through a nice little RGB controller on the right hand side of your screen at a command or at a keybind, which is pretty cool. They do have a paid version, but we will be going over the free version today. So first thing you're gonna have to do is go to this link top of the description and go ahead and click download here. And then this will just go ahead and take you to the Google Drive folder where you're gonna go to the top right hand corner and press download. This will take you to another page and you're just gonna have to press download again most likely because that's some nope didn't do it this time all right so we can go ahead and open up this zip file with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open up these files before we keep going make sure to subscribe like and comment we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers so it'd be amazing if you could help out only 11 percent of people are actually subscribed so make sure to subscribe anyway in here you can see you got your client server shared files all that good stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the server data folder we're going to go to our resources and we're just going to drag this in if you don't have a server data resources folder make sure you are installing this server side so you have to be a server owner to do this if you are on uh, zap hosting you'll have ftp file access to your resource folder or if you're on tx admin you'll use your tx data folder so we're just going to go in here and we're just going to go ahead and go into this file and then it's going to go over how to set up the different things you can switch up the uis if you want all that good stuff you got the server.lula in here you got the shared.lula which is actually the configure file so you're going to go ahead and open this up do you want it to be a command or do you want it to be a keybind so i don't want it to be a keybind so i'm going to disable the keybind but i am going to enable the uh, command which is slash rgb just like that so we'll go ahead and leave that enabled so then what we're going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and copy the name of the overall folder so our uh just copy just rename and copy and go to your server.cfg file and edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus add ensure or start depending on what you have here and the name of the folder we just copied now if we go ahead and start up our 5m server we should see started resource the name of the resource in the console log this is how we can tell if it started up correctly and this is what you want to do with almost every single one of your resources when you're first installing it for the first time so we're just going to wait just a second while eup decides to take a long time to load up there we go and there we go we see that it has loaded that uh resource folder so we're good to go let's hop in game and check it out all right, so we are in game here and I've gone ahead and typed slash RGB in the chat and you can see I can now click around and do this. Uh, for some reason, my 5M has a bug with its UI where I have to actually tab out for the, any of the in-game UIs to work, but you can see it is working here and I can click around. And then if I just click apply underglow color, just like that, it will apply onto the vehicle as well. There we go. Now it's working. I don't know why it's acting so weird today. So there it is, yellow, orange, all that good stuff. So you can mess around with this, have some fun with it, and um, enjoy the headlights and the neon glow under your car being custom RGB colors. Anyway, if you have suggestions for future resources, leave the link down in the description and comments below, and I will see you in the next video in a day and a half. Enjoy the short tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.